Deep sleep is great to save power, but you cannot let the ESP32 sleep forever. At some point you will want to wake it up from sleep to do something useful. The easiest way to do that is with a timer. You can put the ESP32 to sleep and ask the RTC, the real-time clock, to wake it up after a certain amount of time has passed. Why is this useful? Well, imagine you're building a temperature sensor with the ESP32 that takes a measurement every 15 minutes. Between measurements, the ESP32 is doing nothing, so we might as well put it into deep sleep to conserve power. Here is some sample code to demonstrate the use case. In the setup function, I start by initializing the serial. Then, I take a temperature measurement and I send it off to a cloud service, for example. Now when that is done, I want to put the ESP32 into deep sleep for the next 15 minutes. To do that, I'm going to start by defining a constant that will control how long the ESP32 needs to sleep. I'm going to do that at the top of my file and I'm going to call it deep underscore sleep underscore time and I'm going to set it to 15, 15 as being 15 minutes. Then I'm going to make a function called go to deep sleep. And this function will be responsible for setting up the wake up timer and then actually entering deep sleep. Now, before doing any of that, I will print something to the serial monitor so I know what's going on. And I will say going to sleep dot dot dot. And now we can configure the wake up timer by using ESP underscore sleep underscore enable underscore timer underscore wake up. This function expects just one parameter, how long the ESP32 should sleep. This is expressed in microseconds. So we'll take our deep sleep time, multiply it by 60 to get seconds, and then by a million to get microseconds. Now at this point, the RTC is configured to wake up the ESP32 after 15 minutes of time has passed. All that's left to do is to enter deep sleep mode. And we can do that by calling ESP underscore deep underscore sleep underscore start. So using a timer as a wake up mechanism requires you to do two things. First, you have to configure the timer and then you have to go into deep sleep. Otherwise, if you forget to configure the timer, the ESP will go into deep sleep and it will just never wake up. The last thing we have to do is we have to call this function after we've sent our measurement to the cloud, for example. So I'm going to call it right there. And that's it. Now, there's three things I want to mention about deep sleep. First, ESP deep sleep start shuts down the processor. So any code you write beneath this line in the go to sleep function or beneath this line in the setup function won't be executed. Secondly, when the ESP32 awakes from deep sleep, it will rerun your setup function. That's why in this sketch, I don't have anything in my loop function. I just want to take one measurement, send it to the cloud, and then go back to deep sleep. And finally, when you enter deep sleep, the memory of the ESP32 is powered down. So all the data that is stored in there is lost. So for example, this measurement here, is gone as soon as you enter deep sleep. Now, if you want to keep some data around, then watch one of the other videos in which I talk about the RTC memory. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to support the channel.